welcome back to my channel. Happy new vlog. I was about to say happy Monday, but when you guys are watching this, it could be any day. So I didn't want to pigeonhole us into a Monday, but welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. We're going to start off. I don't really have a plan for this, but I just knew that I wanted to talk with you guys. It is a chilly Monday here in January in Ohio. I am just starting off my week and woke up to some snow. It's very it's very cold outside. Um, I just went and got a little coffee. I got an oat milk latte and I actually got a pump of vanilla, which I never add sweetener to my coffee. I was just feeling like we needed a little pep in our step for today. So I decided to switch it up and yeah, it's kind of getting sick of Starbucks. So I went to my actual coffee shop which is a little further, and I'm very happy with that decision. I also just got a new microphone for this camera, and so I'm really hoping that it's working. I like, all it said was to plug it into the microphone, um, plug in, and it should work. Honestly, you never know with technology these days, but I hope you guys are all doing well, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and leave a comment if something really strikes you in this video. I definitely love when you guys share, and leave your thoughts down below because I always read all of them, and I'm getting better at responding to comments. So I just figured we would start a normal week in my life. There is not much going on here these days. Um, life is really, really calmed down. I know I had like a big catch up in my last vlog, but it is so true. Everything is kind of like quiet and we are fully like in the thick of winter. I feel like I'm kind of in like hibernation mode. Um, in other family news, Elizabeth is going through recruitment right now, obviously on the other side because she's a sophomore at Miami. So I've been getting updates with that. She had a really busy week weekend um, recruiting. It was all day Saturday and Sunday. And then what we did this weekend. So I think I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but our lake house, half of the house is literally under construction and is being redone because the day or two after Christmas, a pipe burst because there was like that, like that crazy storm. And I know a lot of people were affected by that. So a pipe burst and it was like over the garage and then we obviously have bedrooms over the garage so that all basically got destroyed but we went and stayed there the entire weekend and we cleaned out everything so we went through all the closets um we went through like the towel room we went through the kitchen and basically just cleaned out the entire house because we had to move things out of half of the house and um make space for them to start construction so it was full-on organizational mode we got a storage unit, we were moving things over to the storage unit, and um, a lot of items that we are going to be selling on Poshmark, and then a bunch of stuff we just decided to donate and um, give away. So that was our weekend, it was like a big working weekend, but honestly it was so gross outside that I was like, there's nothing going on, this is the perfect time to do it, and once we got into it, it was actually pretty fun. So that's what I did with my parents this weekend. I'm going to pick up the camera a little later today, but I just wanted to get this vlog started. Always thinking of you guys, and yeah, I'm excited for this video. Okay, guys, I'm about to get ready for bed. It's the end of the day Monday. Um, we had a good family dinner, but I'm going to take a shower, and I will pick back up the vlog tomorrow, and we're going to do a full vlog day in the life, the whole bit, but I'll leave a link to my pullover down below. Hopefully the microphone is doing its job, but we will continue tomorrow. Okay, we're making my French press. I was literally in the middle of it and I was like, wait, I should grab my vlog camera and share. So this is my personalized coffee from my own line. This is the Classic Blend and their Fresh Grounds. Um, and I have just been using it with my French press because I think it makes literally the best coffee. My French press is just from Target. It's like 30 bucks. And then we have my coffee. So I just did two scoops and I'm gonna add about another scoop and a half. That is how I find makes the best coffee. And the French press, the one that I got from Target, comes with this little scooper, which is really nice. And I will leave a link to my coffee down below. We're gonna do three and a half cups of water. Um, we have this like really handy dandy hot water dispenser in our kitchen. Okay, I think this is the third. No, I've lost track. Was that two or three? I think that was only two. 
third cup. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do a half cup and we should be good. Okay. And then once you've added all that hot water, you do have to stir it, but you only want to stir it with like a wood or not a metal spoon, basically. And then you want to trap that heat. So just put the top back on and you're going to let it steep for four minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for four minutes. You'll press it down and it is ready. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this steep, put this over here and then clean up everything else. And then I'll talk to you guys in a second. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back for another day. It is a new day, even though I'm literally wearing the exact same outfit. Um, I was gonna change for the sake of like starting off Tuesday's vlog. And then I was like, no, I am wearing the same thing as yesterday. And that's just the way it goes. But I'm literally obsessed with this pullover. It's like the warmest thing and it's so fuzzy. But I figured I'd do a little catch up as my French press is steeping. And I obviously wanted to share that because it's my newest obsession. I was getting really just like annoyed with all of the coffee that I was tasting. My grounds, I mean, I know I'm so biased because it's my own coffee but my grounds are seriously so good. So I've just started making French press every single morning and it is some of the best coffee I've ever had. I go to bed thinking about it. Uh, it gets me out of bed in the morning. Elizabeth was like, wait, I wanna start doing this. So then, like I said, we sent her French press and she's been doing it in the morning. It's just like a co such a cozy thing in the middle of winter. We have the classic blend and the brunching blend. Right now I've just been drinking the classic blend, but last week I was drinking the, oh. It's ready to steep. But last week I was drinking the brunching blend. Both are amazing. The classic blend um, is has more like chocolate undertones, like a nutty, sweet citrus undertone. So that's one that I've been drinking right now. So it's been four minutes. Press this down. Hold the top because sometimes she gets loose. And then you really gotta press. So then we pressed her all the way down which is great, it smells so good. Because it's Valentine's Day coming up, we've been using these heart mugs, which are still available to purchase. So I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna keep using it. And then we pour. Wow, I'm so excited. Yay. Kind of sprays everywhere, but that's okay. And that's it, and we're gonna do a taste test over here. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test. This is once again the classic blend. It's just so good. Like it's just so, it tastes like you brewed it from a pot, but better. Let's talk about what is going on today. So it's Tuesday. I've actually had such a busy morning already. On Tuesdays we have people come to the house to clean and so my mom and I usually like to just get up and out of their way. So we went to one of my favorite bakeries this morning at like 8.30, got a freshly baked warm scone, cherry scone, no, cranberry scone, and a cup of coffee. And we sat there for a little bit um, and we were talking about the house plans. So I was kind of just like, you know, giving my two cents as if I knew anything, but I kind of wanted to get up to speed because tomorrow we have a design meeting. So yesterday I made a couple posts about workwear and I was receiving such great feedback from you guys in my direct messages and they were like, please keep posting about this because uh, I never know what to wear. So I was like, okay, mom, let's go to Target and see if we can find some new pieces. So that is, sorry, the camera got finicky again. But anyway, that's exactly what we did. We went to Target. Um, and there was like nobody there, which was great because it was pretty early in the morning. And we searched for everything. Guys, I will say it is hard. It's difficult to find the right stuff. I don't know if it's just our target. I feel like it's not because we have like a very classic like suburban target. It's not like we're in a big city and they don't have any inventory. It was difficult to find stuff. So I want to be helpful because you guys are working jobs. You have a lot of stuff going on. I could see how it'd be very frustrating. And so I really want to like make this a series on here and share with you guys my favorite items. These were hand selected by Ann and I, so they are approved by Ann. We picked up what we thought were the best pieces available. But again, I am going to say it was kind of slim pickings. Online might be a little bit better. Um, but I wanted to just obviously like go in person and look at the stuff. So we're going to do a styling portion 
after Target, we went to the bank because I needed to close my like student bank account that I had when I was in college and I'm moving all of my stuff over to another bank. So I did that with my mom and then she went to lunch with my aunt, my grandma, and then I came home and I did my makeup and I had lunch. Um, I made a really good turkey sandwich and I had cucumbers and grapes and goldfish and it was amazing. And then I was sitting there and I was like, I really just want another cup of coffee. Like I, that's all I was thinking about. I said, I just want some more French press. So I made my French press and I was wearing this all day because like I said, I just popped out of bed and I just put this back on because it was so cozy. I also scheduled a nail appointment because I need to get gel back on my nails and they're chipping and driving me insane. And then my mom and I are recording the podcast at three o'clock just in our home, but we're trying to like make a standing appointment because we're getting back into it, ladies. It's 2023, Bose and Company is back better than ever relaunched here to stay every monday at 5 a.m so if you haven't listened to this week's episode be sure to check that out okay that was my little update for our tuesday let's do a little target haul because i want to show you everything that we found okay they gave us like one of these huge bags which was kind of nice because we could just fit everything in here but um obviously i'm going to try these things on i think i'm going to have to do it after my manicure because i don't think we have enough time oh well first from the dollar section we got these adorable little um hearts like wood hearts we were thinking as decoration for my pop-up shop to like lay out on the table they were i think literally a dollar so very cute wanted to show wanted to show that thank goodness we got that so i started just with some basics again i cannot express to you how little options there were for just like basic clothing you know what i mean like the, some of the stuff that they were putting out there i was like who is wearing this right now it's february i get that it's all spring stuff but like we still have a lot i know i mentioned this yesterday we still have a long winter so first i just picked up this black cardigan super basic i figured we could do a million things with it it is really soft i want i do want to stress how soft this is and this was 25 dollars. i've noticed that 25 dollars is um target's favorite price everything is usually around 25 next i did pick up this really cute coat because i legitimately loved it and this is like a good in-between if you're going to work and this is actually good for spring as it warms up i think that this could be really useful it's still a little dressier it's not just like a basic puffer coat and it has a bit more depth to it so i thought it was a nice in-between you could also wear it on the weekends with like athleisure um i feel like i saw somebody wear a very similar coat from aloe and that to me looked exactly the same and it was from target and this was how much let's check the price okay so this coat was 45 dollars. next i picked up one of these lavender cardigans in the same style as the black i just thought this color was pretty and it could also take you through the spring oh next we found these pants pants are difficult pants are very hard i thought these were so cute they're black my mom actually picked these out so and approved and then they have this stripe down the side of brown and then cream in the middle which i thought were really cool it's kind of like a cigarette pant i got mine in a size four and it has a zipper on the side oh my god you guys i found this adorable purse it was the only one left um it's available online though because i checked straw the black i just thought this was so cute you could wear it now and then take you right into spring and also it didn't have a tag because i think this was like a return or maybe the last one there so when we were checking out she gave us just the sale of the day so we got this for six dollars and it's originally 25 she was like oh since we don't have the tag like you're getting all this other stuff i'll just give you the sale of the day so this was a huge score but i thought this was really cute because you could even take the strap off and just um, carry it as a little handbag or I've been ordering these um, chains these removable chains I talked about in my last video from Amazon so I was thinking I could do one, uh, something like that okay and then also I got another purse because I wanted to pick up like a work bag that you guys could actually use for work and I figured just a brown leather tote would be the best option this was only $30 it's really big and I love the thick straps and it does have a zipper. So if you want to fit like a laptop, it could stay protected because leather, I always mention like a good leather bag, a good leather bag, but like that from Madewell or J. Crew is still like $150, $200. So start with something like this and it also has a big pocket, shove everything in there 
and you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna go to my manicure. Okay, I did change for my manicure because I just felt like being a functioning member of society and not wearing the same Sherpa pullover two days in a row. Even though I love it, I, I just decided to put a regular outfit on. It's extremely basic. Also, don't mind all of this stuff. Um, as I mentioned, we cleaned out our lake house so that was some of the it's like the packing bags that we use which actually you guys might like this these scout bags are perfect for moving stuff um, or just transporting large amount of items carefully because they're really durable and they're also cute so that's what's right here and this has like all of the lake clothes in it that we had to bring back because obviously we're redoing that target clothes and then we went to the bookstore and we got the books Anyway, as I was saying, I changed. I just have on a gray shirt, a good layering piece. This is from Club Monaco. I have like three of them. I talk about them a lot. Um, I just can't wear sweaters anymore without a shirt underneath it, especially in the winter. I love, it just keeps you so much more warm. And I even think just this little bit peeping out adds a little bit more depth to your sweater. And I just got this white sweater last week from J. Crew. I really like it, super basic. I've been into dark wash jeans. These are from a Goldie. I just like the way they look and since it's 19 degrees out I am wearing snow boots with some cashmere socks um, these particular boots I've had for years they're from Mark Fisher they're still available and they're just really nice so yeah this is like a pretty boring outfit but I wanted to share with you guys I'm just gonna wear my parka and go to my nail appointment and then I will see you guys when I get back I'm probably just gonna get the same color but I need to get this regular nail polish off and put gel back on because it's not lasting. Okay, we're gonna record the podcast now. Mom is home and I'm gonna just set up my microphones. This is part two to the wedding recap. So part one is already live for this week. This It was our comeback episode, if you will. So uh, you can listen to that on Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Audible. And now we're gonna do part two. The first time we recorded, we ran out of time, so I'm assuming that this episode is going to be a lot longer and more in depth. And I actually like that I did part two parts to this because people were asking specific questions that we can kind of like go back and answer, like regarding what we already talked about. So um, I can show you my microphones if you want. So we record in the dining room. I don't know why we just. Oh. Someone just rang the doorbell. It's UPS. Um, we just like to record in the dining room. So I have my computer and then I think it's so funny because we literally put our microphones in a tote bag and we keep it in the closet. Um, but it's actually pretty easy to take out. So here are our microphones. We used to use headphones and then those just really kind of stop working and they don't really serve a good purpose anymore. So I'm gonna put you on my coffee so you can. Um, so we use the blue Yeti microphones. This summer we just walked into Best Buy and we asked what the best podcast microphone is and the guy recommended this. So we stuck with them. There's probably other options like that you can order online. But this is what we use. So anyway, this part plugs into my computer. Here, you gotta make sure all this is plugged in. Now you can actually see me so I'm not just like randomly talking. I have a podcasting software that I use um, that was recommended to me. I'm probably gonna plug in my computer as well because it takes like a lot of juice out of my computer, just like the recording software. We have to make sure all the microphones are on. When you have two microphones like this, like if you're someone who is wanting to start a podcast or record, um, the main thing that we had a problem with was syncing these two up to be the same. So you have to make it an aggregate device, which if you like go online, we were able to figure it out, but that's like the biggest hurdle. If you're using just one microphone, it's really easy, but it's like syncing the two up to, to go at the same time. Hey, you can come in. I'm just vlogging a little bit before we start. So yeah, we're gonna do part two of the wedding and then I'll probably pick up the vlog camera after we're done. But we'll probably record for like an hour or so 
and then um, see how much we, we cover because we could be talking for quite some time. Do you wanna say hello? Hey! Hi. <laughs> so we're gonna sit here and record this week. Okay, ladies, we are now going to start the segment called Workwear with Anne and Emily because as I mentioned earlier, we went to Target, we picked out some clothes, and we have just styled this first outfit. Hello, Anne, hello. welcome back. You guys really seem to like the styling portion from last vlog. And so we're back and we're here to tackle a big problem. Yes. And it's difficult and we even just like with what we bought, we're having a, a yeah. hard time yes. navigating this. Just getting a fuzzy off of you. <laughs> and I'm gonna back up because Please, you got up. a great response on all the workwear yes. things and your friends are constantly asking you like give me work ideas yes but what you the whole point of that was the ankle thing I think you were trying to get at yes so a big issue for me is the cropped pants first of all I don't think they're that flattering on me but <laughs> I wear them all the time yeah but my ankles are freezing yeah and I, I'm not the only one no I they're wrong Megan ones. just put on her private story I just looked at it before she was like wrapped up and then the next one like she was cold and the next one was my ankles are exposed Freezing cold. Freezing cold. We have pale, pale, pale. ankles. Yeah. And it's not, you look down, it's alarming. Right, yeah. So that's a big issue is the ankles. So I don't know if we're going to address the ankles in this. I just want you we, to know that we are aware of the ankle situation. <laughs> we're working on it. And we're working on it. We're going to come back to you with something. I will say the pants okay, that you're wearing back today. Up? Yeah, back up. Okay. I don't know if you can see my You pants. can see it. These are from Anthropology. They're yes. made. I'm going to have to see if they're still available. They side zip. Mm -hmm. This little flare on my body is a bit flattering because it makes my legs look longer. Yeah. Let me tell you what I like about these. You're gonna wish that you hadn't asked me because I'm here. Yeah. I like the pointed boot with it. Yep. Also makes my legs seem longer. And then I like that it's not a heel, a huge heel. I yep. just like a little bit of a heel. Yeah. And what kind of sock do you have on, might I ask, to keep you warm? Okay. Well, I have like a neat, I, it's not very high. It's just here. Let's just see. So this Did is I, a sock I didn't want to show you my No, tail. it's fine. We're but all friends sometimes, here. sometimes, okay, look. So you look at how warm you're going to be. You're going to wear a sock like this. But I'm going to tell you, sometimes I wear a knee high that goes up to here. I believe it. And I am so warm. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're out walking. This is a good situation. We're covered here. And you I know? also feel like I'm still uh, professional. Yes. Warm. Totally. I, I feel like I still look cute. Absolutely. Oh, you look great. And then just for just to let everyone know, where's your top from? This, I think, is Theory that I bought last year. Yeah. I got yeah. on sale at the end of the season. I love this sweater. Super cute. And then just with a pretty coat, and you can wear this to work. Yeah. Oh, anytime. this is a great work outfit. I've also worn these blazers, or this these pants, excuse me. I've worn these pants with a blazer. Yep. And I think they go, they're like all year round. They're I love them. They're just a basic black pant, and they're long. Okay, so now that we have addressed that the ankle situation is in fact a problem and we are aware of it, that's one option. Yeah. Now I wanna show you the outfits that we styled from Target. Ankles will be exposed in the following outfits. I just wanna leave that as a disclaimer yes. because we couldn't find a booty. We'll show you one option, but we yes. really couldn't find um, a booty that would go with this. Okay, let's back okay. up. Let's move the ottoman. I think yeah. we need to move the ottoman for this okay. because we All need right. to figure out what we're wearing to work. Okay, so we got the job, and now we need to look good. And everybody else in the office can't yes. look better than us. And we were walking around Target, we're like, what? This is very difficult. I've never stepped foot in a corporate job before. Okay, so these pants we found, look how cute they are on the side. Look with at the this. little the tuxedo. These are from Target, guys. It's a skinny pant. It's got brown and cream on the side, like a little tuxedo pant. Yep. I think they're adorable. Show that earlier. You're true to size in these. True to size. I'm wearing a four. And then we were like, we couldn't find anything at Target that seemed work ready to wear with these pants. We searched. We did. Yeah. So we came home and we used what we have. And some of this stuff is still, well, this is just... You got this for Christmas. This is stunning. It's just a J. Crew black blazer. Last week we talked about the Veronica Beard blazers. Yeah. This would be a lower price point that they usually go on sale. You could pair this with a. This is really fun. You could pair this with the Cameron we... pant, or I think there's a J. Crew pant. This is a J. Crew blouse from last this year. J. We'll find one similar. But if you could just, I'm like obviously I'm recommending the J. Crew blazer because seriously this is a stunning blazer. I mean it's well, just it is. It's fitted lovely. to your body, but. You can get the Target pants. If you already have a black blazer, replace it right. with that, and then just any white top. You know, this is yes. just an But these pants are pretty cute. And then these are shoes from Amazon that are Chanel inspired. These are Amazon. I specifically pulled these for this outfit because 
their Amazon. I don't know how much, maybe like they were, I, I don't want to say, 35 35 yeah. And this mm -hmm. is just a little kitten heel, and I really like this. So and that's a nice height. Very good Those height. Those would also look really cute with my pants. Like, that's yes. just a classic, nice size heel that yep. would go with everything. Okay. We're going to show you another option, because so this yes. can also go with a pair of loafers. Oh, 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 yeah. Do the loafers right now. Because if you're not, if a heel is too dressy for, for your office... Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull in a loafer. These are brand new for me from J. Crew, so they're still available. I'm going to, I said this earlier, I said, you know, invest in a shoe that's comfortable yes. because you don't want to go to work and have blisters. No. And so these are cute. We love Sam Edelman loafers. Okay, I'm zooming out, guys. We got a wide angle frame shot for this outfit. Yeah, now I didn't feel like the loafers. See it. So you got the loafer. You could do a black loafer. Yep, but that's still really cute. This is I'm, your this ankles is are gonna be cold, but you're still really cute. So I know I mentioned this in the last video. This is so far our best bet. I mean, dress coats are difficult, so if you don't want to walk around in like a puffer coat, then I'm gonna recommend the Abercrombie one. It makes the whole outfit. You could honestly Does this look good. Yes, very chic. Really, you could pop the collar if you wanted. Popping the collar. We're just playing right now. This is really fun. <laughs> I think this looks great. And then let's add something that we found at Target. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now we, we walked add... all around, ladies. And look at how cute this is. Now we add your work tote. Look at this. This all goes together. I love so, it. So I really like this. I do, too. I, would, I mean, I would wear this just out and about. And I also like the weight of it because if you're driving in the car or something. Yeah, you're not suffocating. And oh. you can move in the coat, like, too. Like, isn't that cute? Wait, so chic, Anne. Oh, I love this. It's just, yeah. it's the hair flip, but there's no hair. <laughs> I always do that. But I like this coat. I, I love the coat. Yeah. Yeah. You could even like roll the sleeves up if you wanted. It's got totally. like a pretty taupe liner. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah. Okay, okay we're going to so show this outfit another way. I happen to have this blazer because it already has some shades of brown in it. So we pulled it to go with the cigarette pant. I'm calling it a cigarette pant. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it has a little bit of brown in those in those two it's stripes. A tuxedo pant. I so I will link this as well, just because I think it's a fabulous blazer in general. I wore this all throughout the fall, and I still wear it in the winter, and I'll wear it continually. This also looks. I mean, you know how we feel about blazers. This is really cute with just black pants. We're trying to not, of course, with jeans, but we're trying to get away from jeans because we're trying yes. to. Do for work yeah and you could do a black blouse underneath there okay we have another outfit here for you today and um we went back to the drawing board and we have come back and you want to sit back in here yeah sure we'd love to see you in the frame we've come back and discussed that if you're going to start if you're building your workwear capsule wardrobe mm -hmm. we you have said invest in a pair of nice black work pants and gray work pants okay that's what we've determined mm -hmm. i'm doing a monochromatic look um, just to give you some options. This sweater was actually sent to me. It's from Somersault, but it's still available in a few sizes in the gray, and that's also available in the white. So something like a v-neck cardigan, I think looks perfect with just a classic white blouse. You can get these on the high end from J. Crew or not as expensive. We honestly looked today at Target and they didn't have. No, everything was very oversized yes. at Target. We're looking so, for structure. Which, if you wanted more structure, you could also then unbutton this, yep. and you could just you could have a different color. You could have a pink blouse oh, under there. Oh, cute. Or you could have different colors. Yeah, so you could kind of just it. like... But this is kind of a nice gray... I don't know if this is necessarily like meant for workwear, but we could We made it. For we made it. And then the sleeves Look are how white. Cute that is. It's really, really cute. And it's soft. It's very and soft. Then, and then I paired it with a... Actually, uh, I, I like it better on like buttons. buttons. I do. I paired it with a gray work pant, or you did, and then I'm wearing a black low pump from J. Crew, which are really easy to walk in. I just don't think a high heel in this situation would be necessary. No, and you could also do a black loafer. You could do a black loafer. Or you could do a fun loafer. Like, Sam Edelman has those loafers in yeah. all that lives, like a crocodile, like a crocodile green. Yes, yeah. Like a dark green, a forest green, or mm -hmm. you could do like a dark raspberry shoe. Or raspberry. Black. Yeah. You like you like that? I like the raspberry because it's like, oh, she's professional, and then all of a sudden, like, your personality's peeping out yes. with your shoes, and then it's like, I want to work with this girl. Like, she's really sharp. She has raspberry shoes. <laughs> I had no idea when I said raspberry that that's what would occur, but I'm glad yeah. that I said it. And 
So this could, and I feel like even Claire sometimes takes different heel heights with her. Yeah. Oh, so you've got like a pair of loafers in your tote bag. Oh, you could totally fit a pair. I mean, you could fit anything in this And this bag. still, I still like the brown. You see how it looks pretty I still, with the gray? And it'll still go with that Abercrombie jacket that we've shown. Yes. Because that even has Let's put little, it on. I'll put it on so we can see the full look again. Uh, this coat and, seriously goes with everything. But you could also, a black coat is great. Yep. I like this pattern, though, because it's kind of more exciting. There we go. Look at you. There we go. I <laughs> Sorry, I have to go make a deal. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and that's a great yeah. heel height. You this can is find a great a black pump anywhere. You can find a black pump. Okay, so I think that we, as we're coming through here, we're we're deciding you need to have a black pant, a gray pant, a black, not high pump, but a medium pump, and you need a dress coat for yeah, the winter. Yeah, I'm going to list these things on the screen. I think that also a tote, a brown leather tote. I think a brown leather tote is what we've decided on. I like yeah. it. And a brown loafer. There will be a running list on the side. This is what you need to start with. Yes, you can't go wrong with a black loafer either, but there is something more interesting, I think, to a brown. I do too. Yeah. yeah. And then you could also wear, like, your brown loafer on the weekend with a pair of jeans. Yes. Well, I mean, I wear them every day, so. You could also, like, easily wear this black blazer with this blouse. Oh, totally. Yeah. And just get some different colored blouses. Here, I'm going to hand this back to yes. you. Um, I also, I had to go upstairs to get these shorter kitten heels. I found another pair of shoes. Uh, and could you take my purse for two seconds? Yes. Would yes. you want to try this on or not? Yeah, we got to style it. Somehow, okay. I want to show that. So as we were mentioning earlier, the shoe issue with not having <laughs> exposed ankles, I yes. did find these that were sent to me last year from Steve Madden, and uh, we mm. did some research. They're still available on Dillard's and Nordstrom. It and enough. Steve Madden. They're and on Steve sale. Madden, and they're on sale. So this is going to be a good winter boot. We have a black heel that's brown. This is professional enough, wouldn't you say? I do. I think it is. It I think that's what your job is, but this is a great... The thing you have to look for is a boot that has a high... I don't know what this is called. The ankle. You gotta look for about a, a hand worth to get up to get up there, you know? Mm -hmm. Because those are gonna hit you too short on the ankle, but this would meet me right at the... At yes. The, at the, at the okay, I'm line. also going to give a tip that Elizabeth gave me over break. I have a cropped kind of flare demi... demi cut boot cut kind yeah. of a thing so there's like a little bit of a gap if you sit down between the top of your boot and your ankle where if you wore a black if you have black ones on and you wore a black boot wear a black sock and you can't see that yep. ankle totally I don't know what you do in this situation because it's gray but yeah this is a good this is a good boot I thought it was I thought it wasn't fun. a terrible option and it's yes. also at a good price point and they're on sale right now so this could also kind of get you through the, the rest of the winter mm -hmm. you could wear this with black gray anything. Again, you can wear these on the weekends. I'm going to give these to you to put the product aside for me. I like them. <laughs> okay, we have another look here. This is probably for the girl who has a little bit more of a casual work dress code. So this jacket is from Target. Very cute. I don't know if you would necessarily wear it throughout the entire day, but it's definitely a good mm -hmm. layering piece and it's better than just like your classic puffer coat. I think it just cute. adds a little zest. And then I just got this oversized button down from Target. This is probably more of like a casual weekend look and it would look best with jeans. However, it's $25. It's a great price. Like I said before, slim pickings at Target. This was one of the cuter button downs, probably the cutest. And I just paired it with my J. Crew pixie pants and then I'm also wearing the, the brown loafers again and you could wear it with black loafer as well. And then we have this darling cardigan also from Target that you could put over top. I mean, it's it depends, depends on your work. mood, what you're in the mood for. Yeah, and then we have the tighter pant and then a loafer. So this is a one option. Both of these are from Target, so I'll link them down below. And then we're going to show another option with that um, kind of like cardigan blazer. This will be my favorite too. This is just a standard at J. Crew and J. Crew Factory. Yep. And I feel like Claire has these a lot too. Yeah. And I mean, I like when you pop the collar. I agree. Like, very okay, nice. I think this is my favorite option so me far. Me too. This is, this is it. Yes, and this looks, to me, the most professional. I would agree. This is lovely. Oh, I, I really like this a lot. lot. And look, little pockets, walk around. Yes. And then the loafer, it's just really, mm -hmm. really good. good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I like this. This is my favorite one. And I think that these come in 
black and cream. Yeah. And they're they sometimes are on J. Crew Factory and they're always, I think, at J. Crew. Always at J. You can get Crew. these on sale. Yeah. I think this is like they're soft. We should add this to the what you would also wardrobe. put. And yeah. you could do this in a cream and then get yourself a black blazer. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, whoa, yes. yes, that would be, then you'd have your bases covered mm -hmm. for dressier days, for more casual days. Yeah, like and this it. could take you into the spring as well. You can wear oh. this in the summer. Like it's You can wear that with like a little scoop, round. like a little striped tee. Yeah. Oh my gosh, totally. I, I love it. And again, you can always wear it with denim. Yes, or denim. So, okay, I think this was our last look that we had to style for workwear. This might have been a little chaotic or overwhelming. I thought it was fun. But it was so much fun for us, and I hope that we gave you options. We had a lot of fun thinking of you, shopping. Yes. It's a process. Don't get discouraged if you no. feel like you don't know where to go for work clothes. It is difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult at any age. Um, so we're going to continue to keep our eyes out and share. Obviously, J. Crew is always, you know, they have a million different options, but and I like Factory. And J. Crew Factory, but I did like sharing some lower price points because mm -hmm. you can't achieve the same look with different yes. options. So great. That concludes our work where thanks for joining us sincerely. Anne. Oh, I loved it. Okay. We're back in this little spot. I just got cozy after all that shooting for you guys. And I'm wearing my favorite forest green Amazon set. Um, it's, it's really great. I'm not gonna lie. Super soft. Last thing I wanted to talk about before we have some dinner is this new travel tote bag that I actually think my mom found from another influencer. I think Amy Littleston, um, showed it on her Instagram and this is a is this a dupe mom for the Bays one? Um, I think it's a dupe for the cow pack. Okay, it's a dupe for the cow pack and it was like $35 I want to say and Claire actually went to a bachelorette party over the weekend in um, Asheville, North Carolina and the timing like with her flight she I don't know what the problem was, but she like put, basically she packed everything in this bag and she said it was amazing. So this has been approved and used by Claire, who is usually very practical. So it's this new travel tote and okay, I haven't even like really taken a tour, but this is, first of all, it's huge. I like the neutral color. It has a big zipper right at the top. It kind of is giving me MZ Wallace vibes, which I love my MZ Wallace bags. Um, but Elizabeth actually took my huge one back to school. So like the other day we went up to our lake house and normally I could just like shove everything and it'll expand and I didn't have that, but happy that Elizabeth is happy. Um, yeah, no, you, you were the one who bought this. It comes with, well, first of all, there's a quilted version. So there's a white quilted one that is like $5 more. It comes in a couple of different patterns. Yeah. Okay, so Anne has just informed me, because she's sitting right here, that at the bottom of this bag, this is, guys, this is huge. You're really going to like this. It unzips, and this is where you can house your shoes, and then it comes with this shoe bag. So you put your shoes in the shoe bag so they're not, like, touching each other, and then place it at the bottom insert, and then your shoes are separated from your clothes and all of your other items and they will sit flat. So again, you can put this under a seat on an airplane. That is a really cool idea. I can't believe how cheap this is. Like $35. $35. The USB. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a USB. Wait, but what does this connect to? You know what? Let me look this up. There's a USB in here, but we're just unclear as to like how this works. Hmm. So it also has a long strap so you can carry it crossbody or more on your shoulder. And it also has a zipper on the side right here and then like pockets on the side. It so. also has a zippered waterproof lined PVC lined pocket for wet clothes or towels. So if you were taking it to the gym. This, yeah, it's probably this one right here. That's, this could also resistant. be a gym bag. Do people use gym bags anymore? Um, wow. This I is... I don't get the charge. This has a this could be for a water bottle right here. Honestly, this could literally be like somebody's school bag. Oh, this is has elastic. Guys, this is crazy. And then it has a pocket right here with Velcro. Oh, Emily, I'm gonna tell you this. It says Oh wait, there's an outlet right. It says inside connect your own power bank. So if you must have to have like a power thing. Outside connect with your own USB cable. Connect your phone with the USB cable. Okay. So you would plug your power bank into that thing and then your phone into the power bank. Hopefully you guys got that. Um, so this is crazy. I Amy Littleson found this. 
we follow her and we tested it out and Claire used it and she gave glowing reviews. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it my 10 out of 10 recommendation that you guys should get this. If you have upcoming travel for spring break or summer plans, here we go. I mean, I don't know how we can get better than this. I don't know why anyone would pay for a cow pack when, now we have to see how this is gonna hold up, but it seems pretty good Claire to me. Claire said she shoved it in the overhead compartment and it was a breeze. Shoved, overhead, <laughs> breeze. That's all I need to hear. That's great. And even if you use it like three or four times, like for $35, I, I, I just don't know how we can beat this. I'm really excited about it. And apparently it comes in a quilted version as well. So, okay, that concludes all the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. I know we covered a lot. I thought this was fun. Like I said, it's the middle of winter and this is kind of just the vibes right now. So we're gonna probably just make dinner and then I'm gonna edit this video. For a second, I thought that my computer was not charging and turning on, but I think that it is charging, right? Yeah, okay, she's shaking her head. So that was good, that was a complete scare. I was like, okay, so my computer's fried and everything's on there, but looks like it's okay. Sometimes the outlets are like really finicky, but we're just gonna have a cozy night. I hope you, you guys are also having a cozy night. And then we have a busy day tomorrow, but I think I'm just gonna end off the vlog here and start a new one for tomorrow and the rest of the week because it's gonna be go, go, go. And I have another cute outfit. We're going to a design meeting in the morning for the new house and I'm excited about my outfit. Totally separate from what I showed today. So I'll be sure to fill you all in on that. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you're having a great end of January and start of February. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up with all of my daily activities and TikTok if you wanna see even more extra video content and the podcast, new episodes every Monday at 5 a.m. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.